We've gotten reports of flash flooding in different parts of the state as well. Yeah, that's right. In fact, the National Weather Service, they just put out a, an extension for Bloomington specifically for the uh, flash flood warning until mm -hmm. 1030 now. Rain's not quite done there just yet, so there are still several flash flood warnings that are going to be extended now through the middle part of our morning just to account for the rain that's still out there. Live Doppler 13 radar showing there is a bit of a quiet spot to the northwest, which is that clearing that we've all been waiting for. But in the meantime, heavy rain continues to fall from Bloomington to Bedford. We've got rain that extends all the way across southern Indiana from Seymour to Columbus. This uh, relatively widespread rainfall extends all the way through the eastern part of the state. But we're also seeing a secondary cluster of storms now developing in central Illinois. Now this is on more of a southerly track, so it might clip the very far south, the western parts of central Indiana, but I think a lot of this is going to move south, but it is certainly packing a punch as we have a new severe thunderstorm warning associated with that. Uh, nothing here locally with the uh, severe thunderstorms. It's just those flash flood warnings that will be in effect through about 10 o'clock this morning. We've had some pretty impressive rainfall amounts. In fact, the highest amount we have seen came from Owen County near Spencer, Indiana. 7.41 inches of rain. That's in Owen County, which is just to the west of Bloomington. So that's uh, the highest we have seen. Uh, still impressive numbers from Shelbyville near two inches. We had nearly three inches of rainfall in the past 24 hours here in Indianapolis as the rain is slowly starting to exit the metro now. Here's what it looks like on the city's north side. We've got this cloud cover that's continuing with us. But as that rain continues to push out between about 10 a.m. and noon, we're going to get in on more dry time later this afternoon. Not going to rule out that chance where a few of those spotty storms, especially the area south. All that's still associated with that cluster that I just showed you over in Illinois. And then as we get into tomorrow, this boundary is going to wobble its way back northward. So most of us stay dry. We're going to be on the warm side of that. So we're going to be very muggy and uncomfortable with temperatures back near 90. And that chance of spotty showers, though, staying mainly in northern Indiana come tomorrow. So today's forecast will advance through about noon. We'll read that back to 78 degrees. 85, though, as we get into the latter part of our day, that's our daytime high. And I still keep that chance of those stray pop ups around to account for that potential. This is through 9 o'clock this morning. Again, the leading edge of this is going to exit. Here's that secondary storm system that this high resolution weather model is picking up on, impacting the western part of the state through around 11 a.m. And then as we get from lunch hour on, we'll even see a few breaks in that cloud cover. So that means we have some nice dry time to drive everything up from yesterday. This is going to take us on through 5 p.m. And then again, as that boundary just kind of holds steady in southern Indiana, it will potentially pop up another round of some storms that will be on the very low end of that severe threat. Nothing like what we had around yesterday evening. A few of those storms could pack a punch with some heavy downpours, lightning, of course, a threat within any thunderstorm. And just the fact that there's going to be more rain, we just don't need it after what we experienced the past 24 hours. A stray shower starts the day on Sunday, then we'll go partly cloudy back up to 89 degrees. Check this out though from the Storm Prediction Center. The northern tier of the state is under that level two risk, meaning if storms do pop up Sunday afternoon right here around 6 p.m., there's a chance some of them could also be on the strong side. But again, that's going to be mainly in northern Indiana for your Sunday. One more stormy day on Monday, and then finally that cold front comes through. We drop temperatures back into the 50s for overnight lows. Tuesday, a high of just 72 and a pleasant 78 on Wednesday.